Hi, so my name is Moshel Onam, uh, a member of the Ngomongo Ministers. I've been with this group, I think, uh, since its inception, that was in uh, 2021. Uh, but prior to that, we were the Ngomongo AY, Ngomongo Youth, under the Ngomongo SDA Church. And uh, it's, it's, it's been quite a journey, yeah, right from the youth uh, going into the inception of the group uh, and to the point that we are in right now. Um, I will say, if I start talking of the history of the group, I'd say uh, we are a group born of what was originally the Ngomongo AY. And then we transitioned to the Ngomongo ministers, having uh, thought it twice to do so, given you know the age cap and uh, our wish to stay in the ministry. Uh, for us, uh, the transition into Ngomongo ministers was meant to just ensure that we are kept into the ministry, that we keep on doing what we love, uh, but at the same time commit to soul winning and uh, just taking the gospel out there in fulfillment of uh, his commission as a uh, given in Matthew. When you talk of impacts in my life, I'd, I'd go on and on and on. I mean, uh, it's it's a whole journey. And and to me, uh, my being here today and the support the group has given me is a testament of God's greatness. I, there was a point uh, when we were coming from youth where I really was low and uh, that happened to a lot of us, quite a lot of us. Uh, personally, I ended up even staying away from the team and uh, walking away so when, when we come and say we want to minister it's not you know just something we want to do for the shows but uh, something we want to do out of what has happened so just going back to the period when I left and was no longer active in the group uh, this team act actually did come and reach out and I remember specifically specifically it was the present director Eric Omondi uh, who contacted me one Saturday uh, in the afternoon of course so one would have expected I would have been I would have been in church but I wasn't so he reached out and they came and and really I was in a tight spot I cannot go into the details of it because I mean we'd stay here for quite long but uh, uh, from the talk and uh, the support that they showed I came back and now the testament bit of it that comes uh, to surface when I talk of the period is uh, what when I thought I was you know going away and you know trying to make ends meet for myself trying to uh, sort out my life and be stable things were actually worse because when they came and reached out and they came back the me who thought I didn't have time and you know staying away would earn me more time to do my works and uh, make get to get an income uh, actually realized that what i needed was just to relax at the feet of jesus and things would work out and uh, interestingly from then to this point i think i've grown tremendously uh, both at a personal level and uh, uh, spiritually i'm not yet there but i think i'm a different person well our core vision is to take the gospel to the world in our generation uh, go out there and just sound the alarm and bring people to the fold. Uh, it's our commission. But realistically for us to do that, we must be somewhere. So uh, in five years, I see a self-sustaining group, a group that will be able to uh, not only run, uh, not only uh, call people you know for fundraisers anytime we want to go out for the ministry but a group that will be able to uh, lift ourselves have a means of generating an income and then go out there to preach using uh, what we've uh, been able to earn because we're talking about a self-sustaining ministry i mean paul was a tent maker uh, you see uh, for him uh, it was not just about burdening believers and you know having them bring in for the min bring in something for the ministry to go on he wanted to further the ministry his own way. And that is what we are aiming to do. So in five years, I see a group that will have their own communication system. I see a group that will have their own uh, tents and seats for, for us to be able to run a proper crusade. I see a group that will have a, a catering team because we are looking at means of generating income for us to be able to grow our ministry. We are looking at means of generating income for us to be able to even support those of us who might not be, you know, endured financially.